as Marvel made their big, massive shift uh, a few months ago when the Netflix stuff was not going to be canon to the MCU, and then they decided, or Kevin Feige made the decision, you know what? We're changing course. We are going to make Netflix canon with the MCU. This is going to be not a new Daredevil being played by Charlie Cox, but the Daredevil from the Netflix series. When that all thing happened, everybody starts speculating, well, will John Bernthal come as Punisher? Will we see Elektra? from that come in uh elodie young was that her name who played electra yeah. I I think so. will she come over and do where we can see this yeah, a lot of different opinions a lot of discussion but the one thing that everybody agreed on we ain't gonna see finn jones as iron fist because let me just let me look up the statistics yes nobody liked iron fist uh, Iron Fist was the one show, which is too bad because I thought it had, there, there, were, there were some good things in the show. <laughs> there were some good things in Iron Fist, but almost universally, obviously it's almost universally, not totally universally, almost universally, everybody agreed that was the worst thing in the, the whole Netflix era for the Marvel stuff. And everybody agreed, okay, yeah, that's the one character that's not coming back. But Finn Jones, who played Danny Rand, Iron Fist, the, I'm sorry, the immortal Iron Fist, may have something to say about that, or is just trying to be, technical term, there it is, a shit disturber. Because Danny Rand decided to very nonchalantly put up this social media post of a picture of him packing for a trip. Eh, back there, we got a little book of a never-ending story. Kind of like that. But first, front and center... Power Man and Iron Fist, mm -hmm. right there at the top. Now, of course, this has made speculation start to go wild. That this is um, his way of kind of hinting that maybe we see Danny back. Mm -hmm. That maybe he does come back in this MCU. Isn't there lotion in that picture too somewhere? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Which would make it a very strange, <laughs> very strange... <laughs> Material to need that much lotion for. It's like I mean, never-ending story and some lotion. <laughs> Let me show you my Falcor. Anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. So, it sorry. is never-ending. I almost made Chris spit her tea. It is I'm never sorry, ending. Chris. Well, we'll face that way. <laughs> I'm so sorry that my instinct was to go towards you. <laughs> I just drank. I, I was like, like not the turn towards Jonathan. <laughs> so, okay. Let me tell you why. This might actually end up being something. If you're going to make something canon, then you're making it canon. <laughs> we often have this discussion about Star Wars and what's in the books and what's not in the books. And ultimately now what's in the books is not canon. But, you know, I, I remember we have this debate. Something is not sort of canon. A, a girl is not sort of pregnant. <laughs> She's, you're either pregnant... Well or you're not. It's one of the two. There's no gray area there. Canon is canon or it's not. And if they're going to say now that the MCU is canon, that the MCU stuff that happened on Netflix or the not the MCU stuff, the Marvel stuff that happened on Netflix is now indeed canon to the MCU. Well then, Danny Rand the Immortal Iron Fist is there. And and that's mm. a part of it. That doesn't mean you have to use him. That doesn't mean you have to go into it a lot, but you can't get around that this, you know, uh, Daredevil and uh, Jessica Jones, that they were in a team of the Defenders with this guy, that he was there. Now that brings up another question about Luke Cage and all that kind of stuff, but that can be discussed another time. So I, listen, I look at that and I hear people saying, this picture means that he's coming back. Well, you, it's not very far-fetched because if it's canon, it's canon. Now, do I actually believe that he's coming back? I don't know. This is one that's going to be, it's going to be a hard sell for even Kevin Feige to get, I think, Marvel fans amped up on the idea of the return of the Immortal Iron Fist. At least the one from the Netflix series. This might be one of the things where you go, well, yeah, the Netflix stuff was canon, but uh, we're just going to pretend that this part didn't happen. I, I don't know. Maybe. So personally, I don't buy it. I think this is just, I think this is just him, Finn, taking some, trying to stir the pot, maybe get people talking. 
maybe get some momentum going to having him come and be, I, I don't know. But I'm just saying this is one of those things where I don't think you're crazy if you buy into it because there is some reason there to, to believe it. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. When they arrived at our house, my wife Anne loved to feel them so much, she couldn't even wait for me to get home to put them on our bed. Miracle Made has self cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevents up to 99.7 of bacterial growth leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. Miracle Sheets also have incredible comfort and quality. Miracle Sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands and feel as nice, if not nicer, than sheets used by some five-star hotels. So go to TryMiracle, that's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash Campia to try Miracle Made Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40% and if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you will get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA and use the code CAMPIA to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA to treat yourself. Anyway, Chris... You saw this. I mean, I think you yeah. and I had this discussion before where neither you or I believe that even with the Netflix stuff coming over to the MCU that we thought we would see Finn Jones as Iron Fist. No. But what do you think about this little development? I mean, if this is true, we got to eat a lot of crow. Uh, <laughs> I, I do, in a way, I do want it to be true, though, because I've talked a lot on this show about how I'm a Finn Jones apologist. I yeah. don't, none of this was his fault. No, it was not. It was not. He did the best he could with it. I, much like with Hayden Christensen, Finn Jones did the best he could with what he was given and the time he was given. So if he is going to be in this series, if he is going to reemerge as the immortal Iron Fist, he is going to have to show up as such a badass. Mm. They are going to have to have him start his training now, get that fight choreography done like it is just textbook like it is mm -hmm. second nature to him because if you are going to give him a second shot not only do you have to correct the mistakes of the previous showrunner you have to get everybody on board with this guy yeah and if he comes back and he does the same kind of stuff it is not going to work at all in fact is going to be even more detrimental to what already happened with this character i think he's a fabulous actor i enjoy him very much and i would like to have him have another go at this role yeah i don't want to have to watch him like try to figure out his powers or deny yeah. that he even has powers exactly like, just He's accepted this. Now move forward. Move forward. And, you know, if we could make him just a teensy bit less whiny, just a little bit. I love when he gets to interact with Luke. I think that's when he thrives. He does a great job there. I yeah. always compare his character to the, the show Carnival, where the oh. main character is always like, I don't want these powers. Yeah. I don't want to do this. I don't want to see it. Oh, you're like, oh he, eventually he's going <laughs> to use his powers. And then he does. And he's like, now he's his story arc has moved forward. He's like, no, I still don't want it. I'm like, oh, my God. Just who's, who's the name of the guy again who played Luke Cage? Uh, Mike, Mike Coulter. Coulter. Yeah. yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> okay. You know what? Yeah, that guy. Uh, look, listen, <laughs> listen. All Respectfully, sure. Uni universe, <laughs> the universe is in balance, right? So when there's more water over here, that means there's a little less water to come over here. Mike Coulter. Why are we fucking... talking about wet things in Mike Coulter, Tom? <laughs> Why? Getting ready for are you okay? Getting this ready guy. for some <laughs> iron piston. <laughs> Mike Coulter no. has oh, hijacked. No. An unfair amount of share of handsome. <laughs> that guy is so fucking good looking. It pisses me off. Like, why? Like, see, that's why I don't look better. It's because you took all the handsome. He is he is such like he's one of these guys. Then there are there are some some people like this where you look at them like actors and actresses, but there's a few of these around, but Mike Coulter is one of those guys where you look at him and you just pause for a second. It's like, that's not right. But yes, him and and, and, uh, and Iron Fist had yeah. some very good on-screen chemistry. They had wonderful you know, you know who he could start training with, who's been training, Mahershala. You know, there's like a lobby where people are just training and not making movies. Just well, Mahershala already did something with Mike Coulter because he was. He oh was yeah. In oh yeah. 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 I had, I had such an awkward moment uh, a few years back at Comic-Con. It was the last year. Like, we kind of covered that together with Collider. 
And I was coming out of our, like, you know, our room, our, our media room. And I'm coming back from the restroom, going back to the media room, actually. And I, I Mike Coulter's walking toward me. I'm like, oh, okay, well, you can't miss him. Yeah, so no, like, oh, hard okay, to miss him. Uh, let me just step to the side. You know, you go around celebrities, like, just get out of the way. I go to step away from the side, and Finn Jones comes over this way. I'm like, oh, um, I'll go over here. And all of a sudden, Jessica Jones walks out yeah, from nowhere. I'm like, oh, okay, let me just back up. Daredevil's behind me. And I literally, they're like, so did you get coffee? Oh, yeah, I got coffee. And I'm just awkwardly standing in the middle of the Defender oh, sandwich. As Defender if I don't sandwich. even exist. And I'm like, I'm just going to squeeze through here. Defender sandwich. <laughs> By the way, uh, our viewer, Ron H., just came up with the perfect title for the new MCU Iron Fist. Uh, Iron Fist, prepare to be fisted. That's that's the, well done, Ron. Thank you, well Ron done, H. Ron. I thought better of you. <laughs> <laughs> so ultimately, Chris... Is he going to be in the MCU? I still feel no. I still feel like this is a no, but but boy golly, I hope you get to be in there, Finn. <laughs> anyway, guys. Hope it happens. Question is for you. What do you think about this? Uh, Finn's put up this picture with Iron Fist right front and center. Is he just toying with everybody? Is he trying to angle himself into the MCU? Or is he actually giving a tease to fans that something's coming? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.